Hi guys, this is James from Devil's Paintbrush and I, today for a change I'm going to do a painting tutorial. I posted some pictures on the Facebook groups of my uh, Russian BA6 which I have in front of me here in a whitewash camouflage scheme. And someone asked if I wouldn't mind doing a painting tutorial of how I did this. Uh, well obviously I can't do it on the BA6 but I do have a T34-76 that I can do it on. Um, uh, there's all the colours I'm going to be using to do this. And I'll, as I go through, I will tell you what colours I'm using. I'm going to use it in the same way as I did the Tiger. I'm going to paint a bit, do a video, tell you how I did it, use the colours I did. And... Um, it's going to be a video of a number of parts. Um, unfortunately, because I don't have a tripod, I can't actually do the painting while um, while I'm filming. So I've got to paint and then film. So, first of all, we have the Warlord uh, T34. I undercoated it with this stuff from Poundland. They do it in black, white, and grey. And it is wonderful stuff. It's a pound. It stinks to high heaven. But I don't care. It gives you excellent coverage. And it's only a pound. You can't argue with that. And then I'm going to give it a coat. Two thin coats all over. Of Ravel Aqua Colours uh, Dark Green. Or Dunkel Gil. Dunkel Grun. Sorry. And I'm also going to be doing the tracks. And they'll be in. I'll be in uh, Abaddon Black. Then I'm going to do the decals, and then I'm going to do an all-over wash. And we have the uh, tank commander here as well, and he'll be done intermitt intermittently when I'm waiting for washes and paint to dry. So catch us in a couple of seconds, and we'll go through the next part of the video. Hi guys and welcome back. Uh, as you can see, the base coats are on. I've, there's two coats of Ravel Aquacolor Dark Green. The uh, Tank Commander, let's focus on him. The tank Commander has had a base coat of black with Cadian flesh tone or no Bugman's glow sorry and then a ink wash over that the main hull has been done with a green I've done the tracks in black I've dry brushed them with um, lead belcher and then the road reels green and black decals are on and um, just just put microsol on them waiting for that to go off and then the whole thing is getting a wash of null oil and when that goes off it will be uh, into the next stage so uh, I'll catch you in a couple of seconds hi guys welcome back uh, as you can see the wash is on just need to let it dry then I'm working back in with the green to create a little bit of depth and then it's whitewash time okay guys uh, as you can see I've gone back in with the original colors and a little bit of a highlight well I hope you can see it's not really obvious but a little bit more definition in there and I have at least finished the tank commander who hopefully I get the focus there you go. Tank commander's all done, ready to go. So I'll put him to one side and he'll be glued into the into the turret when that's done. So the next stage is to actually work into it with the uh, with the whitewash, which is going to be this Ravel Aquacolor White. Um, it is more of an off-white, really. It's not like. For instance, 
Games Workshop white scar is really white whereas that one is not as white um, I'm going to water it down probably about 50-50 and just uh, plaster it all over the place it sounds a bit random but you'll appreciate the effects once it's done and then once that's done it takes about two coats of that I'm going to go in and I'm going to do a bit of chipping with the original green colour then I'll do the cables because some of you may have been wondering why I haven't done the cables yet I'm going to do the cables around there and I'll do a bit of weathering on that make them a little bit rusty I'm going to go back in with some dirt and a bit more chipping and then it should be done so uh, I'll see you guys in a sec okay here we go here's the uh, first part of the whitewash done there's two coats of the really thin down white now I don't know if you can tell but there is a bit of a streak going on there which is actually what I was going for oh that's the weathering effect later on and as you can tell especially on that two there I've got a little bit too awry with the white I'll just tidy it up with the original green colour and on the side here you can tell I've gone a bit on the track a bit on the, uh, the rubber covering of the road wheels and a bit on the front track uh, section there which is probably my own fault for um, painting that in the first place I should have left it like I did the uh, the cables but again you can you, you know you don't have to be that neat because I can tidy it up like with the uh, graffiti uh, the slug on the side I need to tidy that up a bit and the uh, the vents and everything again they've got a bit messy but I can tidy that up again later the next stage see I've got the tracks there as well the next stage is to go back into it with the original colour and this stuff foam from a blister pack you just dip it in bend it over and dab it along the edges and that gives you uh, sort of a chipping effect and obviously because this is um, a whitewash it's designed to be whitewashed off after the winter season um, on the well trodden areas such as the engine deck around the hatches a driver compartment um, anywhere where the crew will climb up along the side of the side of the turret and the side of the tank there's going to be significant chipping going on which is what I'm going to use this foam for so I'll catch, uh, catch you in a minute with the uh, the next stage of the uh, paint. Right, guys, here we go. Here's the um, the chipping stage done. Uh, let me just there we go. Hang on a minute. The camera's gone weird. Right, there we go. Now the sponge work around the end of the barrel and then on the main hull and on top of the guards on the front and the under glacis so on the rear on the fuel tanks and quite a lot around where the turret's going to go which you won't actually see once the turret's on and the bits down the side now the next thing to do is to touch up the cable you can see running along there the track the gun and the light and uh, a bit of scorching around the end of the barrel and then once we've done that we're going to do some dirt and some mud and then finally um, highlight that uh, to make it look all yucky and gooey like it's dri driving through a Russian winter right catch you in a sec guys hi right, guys welcome back and there we have it the complete model I've done the weathering on it we've got mud splatters on the front guards on the lower glacis and the tracks mudded up the wheels and oops mudded around the back 
there's soot around the exhausts, don't know if you can see down there, underneath the fuel tanks, and I've sooted around the engine vents and around the sides. The soot is just Abaddon black, dry brushed on, hardly any on the brush, and the mud is, again, it is Revell Aqua Colours leather brown. Again, dry brushed on, hardly any on there couple of coats of that and there we go I hope you guys have found this um, tutorial useful how to uh, get some quite nice effects without using solvents or airbrushes uh, seems to be uh, all the rage at the moment but since I don't have an airbrush and I've been gaming for the best part of 30 years never used an airbrush um, don't see the need of actually only an airbrush at the moment because you can get effects like this without one just a little bit of know-how and a little bit of trial and error so there you go there's my wall of games t3476 completed and uh that's the army completed that's a thousand points of winter russians or soviets i should say done um as i said i hope you've enjoyed this video and find it useful uh, any questions or comments just pop them on in the comment section that'll be brilliant and if you want to pop a like on there that'll be awesome too uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you next time